Welcome to World in Two Minutes. These are your headlines. European Union leaders have reached an agreement with Turkey to stem the flow of refugees entering Europe. The deal gives Turkey $3.2 billion in exchange. Talks will also reopen about Ankara's entry into the EU. In exchange, European leaders say they expect Turkey to improve border controls. One and a half million asylum seekers are expected to cross into Europe this year. The UN's Conference on Climate Change opens in Paris on Monday. Negotiators from 195 countries will work towards reaching a global treaty on climate change. Many countries want to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. But the least developed countries want no more than 1.5 degrees. They say otherwise their economic development, food security, ecosystems and survival would be at risk. Planned Parenthood says the man who shot dead three people at one of its clinics in the US state of Colorado did so because he was anti-abortion. Media had reported that Robert Louis Deere said no more baby parts during his arrest on Friday. Police, however, haven't released a motive for the attack. The Women's Health Organization has been a source of controversy recently as people debate whether it should receive federal funding. A legislative amendment in the US restricts medical providers, in most cases, from using federal funds to perform abortions. Planned Parenthood doesn't use federal cash to fund abortions, but some people say giving it aid at all disregards the law. While leading Mass in Central African Republic, the Roman Catholic Pope has told people to end violence. Pope Francis has said that people should instead fight for justice, love, mercy and authentic peace. There's been widespread conflict between Christians and Muslims in Central African Republic since 2012. The Pontus visit marks the first time a Pope has visited an active war zone. Thanks for watching. TRTWorld.com, Istanbul.